You know, Bob Lepold is a freelance photographer. He's also a diver and an avid fisherman. Put all the above together and he gets some great pictures and an interesting story. This morning, cameraman Jackie Sissel and I went along with Bob to Lake Jennings outside of El Cajon near Lakeside. Bob would dive today, continuing his search for the big ones. You see, for one year now, Bob has been working on a video that he will call In Search of the Million Dollar Bass. The biggest I've seen on camera was a 16 and a half pound fish that we had hooked on at uh, Castaic. I've seen fish uh, free swimming at Castaic and here at uh, Lake, Lake Jennings that exceed 20 pounds in size. Bass. 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 And you wish you had your hook and, uh, and rod with you. Well, it's doing video work now, doing the production end of it. It's, it's, it, uh, you're so busy, you know, taking care of business. It, it is tempting to want to pick up a rod and reel and try to catch one of these fish, yeah. Trophy bass are not rare, oh, just hard little. to land. They're big because they're either too quick or too smart or both. Leppold has been diving and fishing the lake waters of the southwest United States for years. He has seen the big bass, never landed one, except on camera. But Leppold isn't greedy. He'll be satisfied with a world record on camera while somebody else lands one online. He just wants to be there when it happens. Finding that million dollar bass is like looking for the proverbial needle in a haystack. I know the fish is out there. I'd like to catch it myself someday, but if I can't, I'd rather get it on video and share it with the world. Mm. No, so that's yeah, how he does it. Huh? He has seen 40 and 50 pound catfish underwater in lakes around this area with his camera. Deep underwater. underwater. Yes, deep underwater. All right there. there. Thanks, Ron. Okay. Thank you. In other words, folks, if I wanted to catch a big fish in the summertime, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be using a uh, rattle trap in that deep water. I'd be using something else. There's a good one there. Pretty good fish. She's got a little grass. I got her down in that grass. She got down the inside of that grass with me and to kind of bull her out of there. She's a pretty fish. She's post-spawn. I think she's already spawned. We'll go ahead and release her. See, you can see this hair moss. That she got down in some hydrilla that has this hair moss on it. Kind of bulled up down there. I'm going to go ahead and turn her loose. And Get back after it again. Maybe we can catch a another one. That's what you're coming for. Gorgeous fish. Okay. Can I let her go? Yep. I think that's a fish there. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good fish there. Good fish. Yeah. She got that slug on knocked all up that line. If I can get her in here. There you go. That's pretty nice Lake Fork fish. We catch a lot of these. This is a typical slugo fish. She's uh, she's real pretty fish. She's getting ready to spawn. You can see her belly there. I want to get her right back in the water and and, and turn her loose. I'd say she probably weighs oh. Uh, Eight, eight and a quarter. So you can see what that sluggo can do. 